All right, so this is the last non-calculator question on this particular paper, uh, and it is quite a beast. You can see it's worth six marks. Uh, we've got two offers. We're going to have to doubtless find which is a better offer, which is a better deal. Uh, let's give it a read through. Sue wants to buy 300 milliliters of perfume. She finds these two offers for the perfume. So offer A, you get a two fluid ounce bottle. Uh, you don't need to know much about what fluid ounces are because we're going to convert them to milliliters later in the question, so don't worry about it. Uh, a two fluid ounce bottle is £12 per bottle and you can buy three bottles for the price of two. That's the first offer. Offer B is a 300 milliliter bottle, which is bear in mind how much she wants to buy. The normal price is £76, but it's a quarter off the normal price. Sue uses one fluid ounce as 30 milliliters to compare these offers. She wants to spend as little money as possible. Which offer should Sue use to buy 300 milliliters of the perfume? So I think we, it might, you might not like this, but I want to do offer B first um, because it's easier. This might be one of those questions where you're not sure how to get all the way to the end, but if you can just do the stuff you can do, you will get marks for it and it's better than leaving it completely blank. So. Offer B, 300 milliliter bottle, which is exactly how much she needs, so we just need to buy this one bottle. It is 76 pounds, but it's a quarter off. Now that means we need to find a quarter so that we can take it away, because it's a quarter off. Now, to find a quarter, you divide by four. Um, if I wanted a fifth, I'd divide by five. If I wanted a tenth, I'd divide by 10. But what I need to do is 76 divided by four. So, 76 divide by four, equals. Uh, for this one, you could just go up in the times tables. It would take a little while. I'm going to do bus stop because I just love throwing bus stop in just to make, remind people that it's really handy and not that tricky. Um, so how many fours go into seven? One, remainder three, because uh, one four leaves you with four, five, six, seven, leaves you with three left over. And then how many fours in 36? Nine, so a quarter is 19 pounds. And like we said, it's a quarter off, so we have to take that 19 pounds off of the original price. So we do 76 minus 19, uh, the full price, take away the one quarter. Now six minus nine, we can't do it, so we have to borrow. So I'm gonna knock this seven down to a six and use the extra one that I borrowed to make 16. 16 take away nine is seven, and six take away one is five. So 76 take away 19 is 57. That is how much offer B is gonna cost us. And that's important, so I'm actually gonna say offer B. That's the final price for offer B. Now offer A is a lot more work. First of all, we need to know how much is actually in a bottle, because two fluid ounces isn't much use to us if we want to buy 300 milliliters. Now if one fluid ounce is 30, then two fluid ounces must be 60. So if one, if one fluid ounce is 30, then two fluid ounces is 60. Uh, so it's only a very small thing, but let's put it in anyway. We just did 2 times 30 equals 60. So that's how many um, milliliters is in one of those bottles. But how many bottles do we need? Um, she needs 300 milliliters of perfume. So how many 60s is that? So one fluid ounce bottle would be 60. Two bottles would be 120. And I'm just going to keep adding 60. It's kind of like the six times tables, but with extra zeros. Okay, so this means we need five bottles, because five lots of 60, five bottles will give us the 300 milliliters that we need. However, I don't just pay five lots of 12. I pay, I, 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 there's this offer where you can get three bottles for the price of two. So if I'm gonna buy five bottles, right? Um, here's one. Uh, how do I draw a bottle? Hang on. Okay, I'm not going to bother drawing, buying a bottle. Here's a bottle. Here's one, two, three, four, five. There are my five bottles that I need. Remember, each one of these is 60 mils, so five of them does make 300, so she does need five bottles. Um, the offer says we get three bottles for the price of two. So if I buy these three, I only actually pay for two of them. So that's actually only going to cost me two lots of 12 pounds. But then because I only want to buy another... Um, two bottles, I'm going to have to pay another two lots of £12 for those. So I don't, well, I mean, you could, I suppose you could get the free one on the end here. We're only interested in the five that she requires to have 300 millilitres of perfume. So I hope that makes sense. We've got five bottles here that we need to buy. 
is three bottles for the price of two, which means these three bottles are circled here. They're only for the price of two of them. So that's two lots of 12 pounds instead of three lots of 12 pounds. That's the offer. But then these extra two, uh, whether I get an extra two or an extra three doesn't matter because either way, I'm gonna pay two lots of 12 pounds um, to get those two extra bottles. So uh, we pay for four lots of 12 pounds altogether. So the next thing we need to work out is four times 12. And you may have set out this part of your working out differently. It really doesn't matter. If you'd have done 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12, fine. If you'd have done two times 12 plus two times 12, that's fine. They're all equivalent. We need to do four times 12. Uh, lots of different ways of doing it. Um, just for a change, let's do it with a multiplication grid. So you can do this multiplication like this. Uh, and like I said, it would be absolutely fine to um, just add up four lots of 12, but I don't know, it's just worth showing a different method. Uh, 10 times four is 40, two times four is eight, and these two things added together is 48. So four lots of 12 equals 40, let me put that in here, equals 48. Um, so we've got, that is actually it, that is the final price for offer A, and I think we have our answer. Which offer should Sue use to buy the 300 milliliters of perfume? She should use offer A because it's 48 pounds instead of 57. So let's just quickly say which offer should she use? Uh, she should use offer A because it is 48 pounds instead of 57. Now I've said it on most of the other questions, you don't need to put that much detail in your answer box because you've got everything to support it in your working out. Um, but also remember that all these scribblings I've got, it's equivalent to you doing it on paper and that won't be marked. You've got to put it on the screen for the examiner to see it. So this is what, I am sub uh, what I'm submitting for this question. All of this extra stuff is just your working out on paper. So bear that in mind, the examiner only sees this. So you've got to make sure that all the important bits of working out you've done, they go onto your grid like this. Uh, right, okay, I think I'm satisfied with that question. Um, I hope that helps. That was the last question on the non-calculator section. Um, good stuff. Uh, thank you very much.